there is no doubt there is need for financial regulation. Sources of financial reporting regulations we'll be looked at today. Still under financial reporting, we are looking at sources of financial reporting regulation. Without regulation, the hand user may not actually be protected. It is important that we have regulation in the industry so that there could be conformity, there could be same treatment for same transaction across board. So that management will not be left alone also to decide whatsoever they want to present that best suit them, which may not be to the advantage of the end user or the financial statement. Because of all this and many more, there is need for financial regulation. This is not what we are dwelling on today. Actually, we are dwelling on the sources of financial reporting regulation. Having spoken about some needs and why we have financial regulation, let us look at the sources. My name is Ben Dollar Tinji talking from G James Associates. If you are just joining us, you are welcome. Please subscribe so that you can be in this community. Another around you will be given advantage to be reached out to. Actually, we are going to be looking at three sources of financial reporting regulation. We are going to be looking at the accounting standard. We are going to be looking at the company law. We are going to be looking at stock exchange listing rules. These are the sources of financial reporting regulation that we have and every one of them has its own area of peculiarity and touching on something important to the financial statement and business world. When we are talking about accounting standard, we must not but talk about IASs, IFRSs, as almost all countries of the world now use international financial reporting standard, including here, we use IFRS. Then company law is another source of financial reporting regulation. And when we are talking about company law, it varies from country to country. Company law varies from company from country to country, but typically also it sets out rules for determining the profits available for distribution, profit that must be retained, issuing and redeeming share capitals, the reserve that the company must have and how to apply the reserve, which reserve can be touched, which one cannot be touched, for what purposes. So these are the company laws lay down rules and yeah as a matter of fact all these regulations could have two basic approaches if they are not rule based they are going to be principle based but for high FRS is principle based company law can be either ways or what we can call hybrid the rule and the principal aspects of approach to regulation. So company law could equally cover aspects in which IFRS, ISAs have not covered. So they work hand in hand. There are some aspects that we must ensure we comply to company law of our country, IFRS standard, ISS standards, because without compliance, that account cannot be said to be true and fair, which is the work of the external auditor. Then we must talk about stock exchange listing rules too. And these two may be of dual hybrid approach that is from principle-based approach or rule-based 
approach when we are talking about the listing listing now affects companies that have shown interest to be listed in the stock exchange of their country so this may not necessarily affect all organizations or companies but once we've chosen to be listed for the advantage of exchange we must ensure that we comply with the listing rule which is the third source of regulation so when we are talking about listing rule is set out information which entities must supply when their shares are traded on the major stock exchange of that country and some organization could be listed in countries listing exchange they must comply with the rules and in order to maintain their listing and once they are not able to comply with the requirements they are going to be delisted this is to ensure the protection of the shareholders and the stakeholders and the like we had discussed the importance of regulation in financial reporting we had looked at sources of financial reporting regulation basically we need we have the need for regulation to ensure true and fair presentation of financial statements to protect the shareholders and the user of financial information in which they may not be part of the organization most likely they are external to the organization also there is need for con for conformity to ensure that the treatment same treatment were given to same transaction even from different organizations so that there could be comparison and there could be more analysis of industrial analysis global analysis and the like so also we discuss accounting standard as a source of financial regulation we had discussed the company law and also stock exchange rule of listing the organization into the various listing in country by country next join us for another important topic on the financial reporting and if you are yet to subscribe maybe you are just joining us this channel is new to you here we dish out raw fact of accounting management corporate financial governance and everything you can discuss about business and accounting Benga Olatunji, FCA has been speaking from GJS Associate Channel. Next time, we are going to be having another important topic on this channel on financial reporting.